Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Madden NFL games on the GBA. Madden NFL 2002 is a solid football experience on the go. The game doesn't have the improvements the console versions have, because you can do only so much on the GBA. The game is more of a tweaked version of the Super NES Madden than a port of the PS1 or PS2 titles. And the game is great for that too, it has a distinct pleasant retro feel. Under the hood, it has 32 NFL teams, an all Madden team, exhibition and season modes, and battery save. The controls are simplistic and feel enjoyable just like the game in general. It's basic in features, but still fun to play on the go. Madden NFL 2003 is a big step up from last year's game. As improvements, it has a create a player option, and when you get to your player stats, there are mini games, and your performance in those mini games will determine the stats of the player. Controls have been made more intuitive, there are more options in the playbook, the game also has traits, they are very basic, especially due to the fact that players don't have stats, and when you do a transfer, you see the same picture for both players. Unless the two players have different skin colors, then you get two pictures. The game also has commentary and link cable connectivity. Compared to the previous game, it's a step up. Madden NFL 2004 is pretty much 2003 with a different paint job. The only difference between 2003 and 2004 is the updated roster. I've looked online for differences and people haven't found other differences either. Madden NFL 2005 is a step up again. You can say that it's a completely new game, because you wouldn't be far off. While you could say that the previous titles are picked as NES games, NFL's 2005 game engine was built from scratch, specifically for the GBA, and this means sharper character graphics, smoother and more versatile player animations, and a game that looks as much 3D as it can get. Sure, there are some frame drops, the engine is not perfect, but it's still a nice one, and overall, it's a step up from the other one. The AI is better, and you can even tweak it with sliders now, to fine tune your difficulty. The game also has the Madden Challenge Points feature, which gives player points for performing specific tasks during play. Unfortunately, the create a player option and its mini games are gone you don't get them anymore. But in all the other aspects, the game is a step up. Madden NFL 2006 has an updated roster, and the missing minigames from 2005 are back. You get the minicamp with 4 minigames. Madden NFL 2007 has updated rosters, and 5 new minigames in the minicamp totaling the minigames to 9 total. It's a solid experience like the other ones, and overall, the most complete one. And I will say the best one. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.